Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I have a special plane in store for you. I have built a indoor airplane and it is like a finch. So it's pretty cool. Um, so this is my first really indoor airplane I've ever built. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so the chassis and the airframe um, and the wing structure of this plane is all 3D printed out of PLA filament. And it looks pretty cool. And then I just took some tissue paper and covered it for the wing itself and the tail section. So first I started with designing. So I did all my designing in Fusion 360, which is a CAD program. If you're not familiar with it, it's pretty cool and easy to learn. I started by printing the wing and I had to cut it in half so that I could put it in my print bed. And I printed it off and I had to tear off a lot of support structure so I could get the right shape of the wing. And, and then I had to sand it down, but I didn't get too crazy with it. Getting it perfectly smooth where I, turned, where I tore off the support structure because it didn't have to be that crazy smooth. So then I took and I glued the two wing halves together, but I later figured out that it was much stronger and better to not glue them with super glue, but to um, weld them together. So I got some filament and just put it in my, put it in the chuck of my Dremel. And then just turn it on and put it up against the wing and weld it together. It really works amazing. So I stuck a piece of filament in a Dremel and I turned the Dremel on and it like friction welded it together. So it worked amazingly and it's pretty strong. And I did put some dehedral in it when I welded it together. Then after that I took and put tissue paper on the wing, just glued it down with some super glue. And also at this step you want to, um, I actually figured this out later, but you want to take a little spray bottle and just a small spray bottle um, and fill it full of 50-50 alcohol and water and just spray it on there. It shrinks the tissue paper. I was very skeptical with this at first, but it works really good. So, and it looks way better. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so, next I, so next I printed off the fuselage and the support pieces and I welded the wing to the fuselage. Next I printed out the tail section and taped the hinges together for my um, control surfaces. If you guys need any extra help with taping it, just leave a comment down below and I will gladly help you out with that. It's a little bit complicated, but it's pretty easy. I just wrapped the tape around it pretty much and that's pretty much all. It's pretty much common sense. Um, wait for me. Um, so then after that, after I taped it together, I took and put well, tissue paper on the tail section itself and it seemed to work good. Next after that I glued together the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer together and then I welded that both to the fuselage. The airplane by this point is looking pretty good. It's almost done. Um, I just needed to um, figure out the nose so I had to work on that a little bit but I figured it all out and then I printed all them pieces out and glued them together and glued it on the fuselage. And then I also had some, a couple supports for the front and the back that I glued on or, or welded on. And it looks amazing. So then I um, took and put my electronics on it. So the next step was to test it. And I flew it and it flew okay, but it had some, I had some CG issues, some balance issues. And I had, you know, that one, and it was underpowered. So I'm gonna upgrade the motor and I'm gonna try to fix the balance by adding landing gear on the front end of it to add a little bit more weight. And I am hoping it'll work. So thanks for watching everyone. The STL files for this build will be down in the description below. I will put a link to Thingiverse. So I like doing these videos for you. I really hope to reach more people. If you guys got any questions about the build or about anything in general please just leave a comment down below and i will answer it i love it when you guys ask questions that i can answer and that is important to you 
And I, guys, if you guys got any um, suggestions, if you guys got any suggestions for um, crazy projects or a uh, new video or, or anything, just leave it down in the comments below and I will surely um, try to get to it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends if they like these kind of videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching the video. Bye. Hope you like it. Mm -hmm.